What's up, YouTube? Uh, welcome to the Counting Wisdom Podcast. Um, I wanted to uh, make a little podcast on uh, something that I was kind of thinking about in Proverbs chapter 11, uh, verse 27. And it reads, um, if you uh, search for evil, it will find you. And that's, um, you know, what I wanted to focus on in this particular podcast. Um, but let me read the whole verse for us so we can kind of go over it for anyone who is actually, uh, you know, tuning in today. Um, so Proverbs eleven twenty seven: If you search for good, you will find favor. But if you search for evil, it will find you. And, um, and so, you know, I thought this was just an interesting verse just because, um, you know, so many times um, we, I think as, uh, you know, we sometimes want to uncover, you know, uh, evil. And I think it's kind of built in, uh, into our nature to sort of find, you know, the secret of something. And I think, you know, this can sort of be split up in into thinking of you know how sometimes you know there does need to be uh some sort of investigation into some something that is happening that is sort of a wrongdoing you know especially you know you have uh you know police uh you know investigators who look into uh different crimes or you know, investigate uh, something that is going wrong or different things like that. And so obviously, you know, there, um, the verse isn't necessarily saying, you know, straight up, do not search for evil. But I think in some ways it is sort of saying that. But I think obviously, you know, the verse sort of is just uh, making a general statement of, you know, hey, if you search for evil, you know, it's going to find you. But, you know, I think one of the more, uh, you know, obvious lessons from this is that, you know, we are not to uh, go searching for evil, but we are to go searching for good. And I think some things need to be sort of left up to God to deal with, you know. Um, I know there's been times in my life where, you know, I have you know try to figure out you know kind of you know hey what's going on behind my back or you know what's going on behind closed doors and you know sure enough you know I would discover you know something evil happening and so um I think obviously you know there are some situations where you know this applies but I think in some cases, you know, this verse sort of may imply that, you know, some things are, you know, to be left to, you know, the proper outlets of, you know, investigation and in authority. And we, you know, especially, you know, for us everyday Christians are not supposed to really search for evil because we know it's out there. And in some cases, you know, I think this is really saying that you know i've thought of this verse especially when you know um watching certain things watching certain movies um you know in a way could that be sort of a um something that i'm doing that is really searching for evil and how i interpret that is that you know trouble can come find me just because of you know what i'm watching and what i'm listening to and in a way i'm searching for evil even though maybe i'm not you know directly thinking about that in my mind you know i could be searching for evil and you know no one necessarily wants evil to find us especially when you talk about evil from the standpoint of you know a troubling situation you know um something that is uh you know sort of i guess the word could be vexing to your spirit you know give you some sort of uh anxiety and um i think this verse kind of ties into the whole concept of 
you know, guarding your heart and, you know, not trying to uncover something that is sort of meant to be, you know, hidden in a way. But, you know, um, I guess there are some contexts of, you know, for example, um, you know, maybe you have kids and so you want to sort of maybe search their room to see if they have something that shouldn't be there, you know, especially maybe teenagers or something. Um, maybe there are certain cases where, you know, you have to um, sort of search to see if there's a virus on your computer or, um, you know, um, you know, maybe you are uh, searching to see if there is some sort of evil trap uh, waiting for you in some sort of, uh, you know, scenario like that. I don't know. I could probably go on and thinking, you know, uh, of maybe different scenarios. But anyway, um, you know, the clear message is that we aren't to search for evil. And I, you know, think that sometimes we definitely have that little thought of, you know, wow, I really, I want to know everything. You know, this reminds me of uh, a scene in Indiana Jones. And in Indiana Jones, there's this one scene, uh, I think it's called, uh, it's the one movie where uh, they're searching for uh, a skull, uh, like a, a human skull. And I guess this skull is like, uh, you know, supposed to be alien or something. And so Indiana Jones, it's one of the more uh, recent Indiana Jones films. Not the newest one, but anyway, you don't need to necessarily know which movie. But uh, in this m particular movie... There's one of these uh, bad guys in the movie, this woman, you know, she gets this encounter with, you know, basically uh, this alien that, you know, basically shows up in the movie. And so she's like, she has this phrase of like, you know, I just want to know everything. Just tell me everything that I want to know. And I sort of think of that when, you know... Uh, talking about this particular bible verse is that you know sometimes we shouldn't necessarily know you know all the different parts of evil and you know there's some things that are not supposed to be known at least for us as people and i think it really depends on um you know maybe if you're a police officer you would you know have a different kind of opinion if you were you know, maybe in the army or something, there are some things that, you know, or a government official or something like some things you do have to kind of, you know, have that investigative, uh, you know, nature to yourself. But, um, you know, I think one of the things that I just take from this verse is, you know, what I've been saying. And so, um, you know, I think so many times, you know, uh, we, as people, you know, want to kind of find out that, you know, that juicy story or, you know, what's what's really behind, you know, this person or, you know, what is what is my friend, you know, really like or what are they really doing or, you know, what's their search history and different things like that. And what I've discovered is that sometimes when you find something that's evil when you actually discover something, you may not necessarily be prepared to handle it in the right way. And so um, I think that is, you know, another point that um, I think you can make in this case is that, you know, when you find evil, you know, and you find something that is sinful or, you know, wrong, we have to react in the right way i i mean another area that this could be used for is marriage you know i think 
you know, sometimes we do want to know, you know, what our spouse is up to. You know, we want to know, you know, hey, are they being honest? You know, are they, um, you know, telling the truth all the time? You know, when they said they went to the grocery store, did they actually go to the grocery store? You know, when they were at home, you know, did they, you know, do what, you know, they said they were doing and all that, you know, all those different thoughts. And I think this, you know, is sort of what some marriage counselors mean when they say, you know, you have to have a level of trust within your relationship that, you know, some things, you know, you shouldn't just continue to search, continue to search, you know, some things I think are meant to sort of uh, be left undiscovered until God may reveal it to you. But, you know, if you discover something that, you know, you are faced with, you know, and if you don't handle it correctly, I think that, you know, it could be harmful to you. And, you know, that may be a stretch using marriage as a scenario. Um, but I'm just trying to think of, you know, different ways that we kind of search for evil and, you know, um, sort of try to uncover secrets that people maybe go through even great lengths to keep uncovered. You know, I, uh, I think a, a scenario of this, uh, I, I kind of thought of in when I read a news story. And so apparently, you know, this guy stumbled across um, a crime scene when he went to go golfing. He went to go golfing and I guess he stumbled across a crime scene. And so the criminals, I guess, saw this guy and, you know, he ended up getting killed because, you know, I guess he you know, sort of uncovered, you know, something criminal that these, these people were doing. And so he ended up getting killed. And so, um, I, I didn't, obviously there's, you know, so many, you know, different, uh, you know, scenarios or, uh, so many different, uh, you know, information for that particular story that we just don't know, you know, but I think it kind of goes to show that, you know, what if this guy was, you know, sort of, you know, going to golf, but yet, you know, maybe he, you know, saw a, a, you know, open door at some back room or something. And so he goes to, you know, he walks off the, the golf course and, you know, goes to investigate this, you know, uh, this open door that he sees that maybe usually the door is shut. And so he sees it open. And so, you know, he goes to investigate it or something and, you know, he rounds up into a bigger situation. I don't know. But um, this reminds me of just, you know, different, uh, you know, scary movies that you would watch where, you know, you kind of have these group of people and, you know, they hear a sound or something. And obviously the movie has it where they continue searching of you know what that sound is but you know in reality you know you would either hear a sound and you know you go the opposite direction or you know but obviously it's a movie so they can't just end the movie right there on some sort of uh you know oh you know i heard a sound and you know i'm not going to investigate it and so um you know that's what some uh kind of a funnier scenario in a way that you can sort of think of and so um i think overall though you know and conclusion you know this is kind of a shorter podcast just because you know it is just one verse and i think there's so much that you know um i would have to gather to really extend this type of podcast but uh in conclusion you know some things you know god doesn't want us to really go searching for and I think also the word search could mean, you know, if you participate in evil, you know, that's one of the vibes that I get from that Bible verse too. is it's saying, 
hey, if you do, you know, if you do something evil, you know, evil is going to come to you. You know, uh, one scenario I could think of is, you know, you may start, you know, on Instagram of, you know, checking out that, uh, that person's picture, you know, and you're, you're kind of looking at that person's picture and, you know, it starts to get out of hand and then you start going to pornography and then more evil starts to find you where now you're just sleeping with people at parties and different things like that. And so it seems to imply, you know, uh, that's kind of a way that evil will find you as well is that, you know, God wants us to search for goodness. And he says that in a way, you know, if you search for good, you know, you will find good, you know, but he says it, he terms it in such a way of, you know, you'll find favor. And so obviously, you know, there, you know, especially in regards to that golf course story that I just shared that I heard on the news, there are some things that, you know, you don't have to necessarily be searching for evil for, you know, it to find you in a way, um, you know, obviously there are some cases where evil, you know, sort of just is there, you know, it's a part of this part of life, uh, you know. Uh, until we get to heaven, you know, you, there won't be a really a scenario like that. So, um, but anyway, thanks so much for, you know, checking out this podcast. Hopefully this was helpful to someone, um, and check out Proverbs, you know, 11. Um, that's, you know, all of Proverbs is a pretty good book. And so, um, thanks so much. And I'll talk to you on the next one. See ya.